All right, coming up next, a most anticipated lightweight showdown between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Charles Oliveira. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is five years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles de Brooks Oliveira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch ball. <laughs> Here we go, another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. There were a lot of several moments in this building, I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226, but John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen, and tonight you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He ate that 
that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Big power shot there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful body kick. Missed with that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Slips the punch nicely there. Just over three minutes to go. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Checks that leg kick. Back and forth we go. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going to no wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Oh, Malley gets touched by that kick to the body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, the head snaps back. Another combination of uppercuts and the clinch right to the head. Notice how he's throwing his entire hip into every one of these punches. He is looking to shut the lights out. Oh, just misses with the kick. Right punches there. Let's fool that head now. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice. Nice. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Lands with the right hand. Nice head kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oliveira's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. There's no tell on that leg kick. 20 seconds left. Just misses with the straight right. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power. 
that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast. He has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Big head kick land. And he connects with the punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Whip his hip into that kick. Watch knees to the body. Oliveira gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh! Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's going after the head. I mean, he's cutting it off the side with his beautiful leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. Another big leg kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Spinning back fist. Nice defense there. Huge block. What a body kick. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Nice. How about that shin? Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Whoa! Oh! Every time. Oh! Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh. He's going to turn on the elbow and he's going to chase the submission finish. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Ten minutes 
in the books. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. O'Malley gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oliveris lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oliveira gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Oh, huge block! Big ball for land. Now we get back to range. Oh, big head kick land. Right hand upstairs! Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Caught that kick there. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, as you say, the weight difference. I don't know if you don't get too much. You just slide in your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Oliveris going for the sub here. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a Got long an time. Got here to try to change the position. Got to be careful, Omar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There's the tap! Holy smokes! Yeah, great job executing the 
submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean just called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.